Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Konya, also known as Ndi Naija. Ja, ja, ja. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. I forgot to close out my uh, November power sheets, y'all. Yes, I forgot. It has been quite a long year. Oh, my Christmas tree fell down. Let's get you. Hello, Christmas tree. Hello, Christmas tree. I'll have to put this aside. I've basically, I don't know, completed it. Let's zoom y'all in a bit. But we can talk through the items that I planned to do. I said I was going to finish my dad's project. I did that. Service my car. I did that. But I didn't do spark plugs. I did something else. Uh, Christmas cards, holiday picks, car maintenance log, and this new healthcare plan. I moved all that over to this month, which is here, December. Journaling, that kind of went on the back burner. No, I did journal the fourth week of November because that was um, Thanksgiving week. Uh, weekly family, that should not be that. That should be a check mark or a highlight. I've forgotten my color, my color, um, my coding here. These X's were meant to mean that the kid was not in town. So he wasn't in town here. He wasn't in town here. And that, yes, I did rest. Who I had a good rest this month. Well, not, I'm sorry, not this month. Last month, I did have some good rests over the weekend. And rest is very important. I have, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you would know that I have, well, any of my previous Power Sheets videos, that is, I have struggled with resting and feeling guilty about taking time to rest. You know, sometimes you just want to fill up all your available time with things you have to do. Or if you, A, don't have the motivation or desire to do it, or you feel like it's so overwhelming you don't want to, then you just sit around feeling guilty that you don't get to do this thing instead of taking your attention completely off whatever thing it was and focusing on rest. So that's part of why it's here as one of my weekly action items. My routines were kind of janky, I must say. I keep my routines in this Erin Condren habit tracking notebook. And this is where November started, and this is where it ended. So I have a lot of items on my, on my routines list every day, but I just condense them into morning routine and evening routine, and then vitamins. I haven't been doing great on this, but I need to do better, which is also why it's here. I'm not sure that it's in my December... It is in my December. Well, I better start taking the vitamins then because I have not. I have not done that. So that's it. That's it for the tending list. The next page that you're supposed to complete every month is your month in review. Oh man, this coil. It's been coming off lately now that we're approaching the end of the year. Oh, and I forgot to introduce the Power Sheets. If you're not already familiar with Power Sheets, this is the Cultivate What Matters Goals Planner from Laura Casey, whose handwriting is back here. They have an Instagram account, and you can uh, follow them there where they're very active. And they produce this planner. And it's a goals planner. It's very, very, very detailed and it's great to uncover your goals. Okay, in the month of November, I was especially grateful for family. Goals that are growing well would include my debt payoff and routine building. Even though it might look like 
you know, there are a bunch of holes in here, but there are some items on here that are non-negotiable for me that I managed to keep getting done. And for that, I am happy and proud. Someone I'm grateful for and why? My son, as usual. Mm. Mama loves her little boy. I'm choosing grace over guilt about taking vitamins. And one thing, okay, I don't have, okay. A good lesson I learned is that I need to pair my habits together. So, for example, in order to keep myself or to give myself downtime or to do what I called in my December reclaiming my time, I don't go with my phone into certain parts of my house. And that frees up mental space for me to do something else. And I need to start pairing some, you know, some other item with this taking vitamins in order to get it done because I was able to pair that reclaiming my time with something else and it worked. So pair new habit with established habit. Pair new habit or habits, that should be a bracket, with already established habits. So most of the notebooks, no, notebooks, Lord, most of the books that talk about habits and habit tracking, um, and I'm just going to go out on a limb here and advertise Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you haven't read it, please go read it if you're interested at all in changing your habits, building new habits, incorporating new habits in, into your routine. Go pick up that book. I listened to it on audiobook. I believe I've listened to it three times already this year. And it's on my list again to read at least twice next year. So this is one of the major pieces of advice that's given for you to pair new habits with already established habits. Yep. What I'm saying, oh, favorite memory from this month. Ooh, um, the tree getting ready for Christmas. It's been magical this year, I must tell you. It has been magical. Not getting ready for the, getting ready for Christmas. I, I have no idea why, but it's just been magical. And I love it, love it. Progress I'm celebrating even if it was small. Hmm. Right now, I'm just thinking of all the things I didn't get to do. E.g., I did not finish my squat challenge. Um, uh, scheduling conflicts with swim. I'm just seeing all the things I could not get done. Yeah. So I'm not sure what, I'm, what I celebrated for the month of November. But I'm sure I already wrote it down in the back of my at the back of the planner. The back of the power sheets has where you can, um, where you celebrate stuff every month. Um, oh well. We'll talk about it maybe at the end of the year. Right now, I don't know, helping my parents? I think I've done well. I personally think I've done well. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just can't, you just cannot please the parents. It's tough. It's, it's tough. It's tough being the first daughter of a Nigerian household. I must tell you, it's tough. And I'm sure different people of different nationalities, even Americans, African Americans especially can relate. Um, but yeah, it can be tough. I'm grateful they are here with me. What I'm saying no to next month. I am saying no to, I'm not sure what I'm saying yes to next month. I am saying yes to reclaiming my time. And I want to focus more on what I'm saying yes to 
as opposed to what I'm saying no to. So you're not going to get everything perfectly in your power sheets every month. Do what you can with what you have. Do what you can. Start where you are with what you have. Those are conventional cliches and such, but they really do help. And continual progress, kaizen as the Japanese call it, small continual progress helps you move to the next level of your goal. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. And if you haven't already, please check out my 2020 goal setting and achieving series. I've done three videos so far and it's, it's, it's coming up really, it's turning out to be really nice doing that process. I'm not doing, I'm not using my power sheets for my 2020 goal planner next year, but I'm using pieces of it, pieces that I didn't already use, e.g. this page that I just opened. So I hope you're able to follow me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below. How did you do on your goals in November 2019? Oh, and if you're interested in any Erin Condren products, please use my link below in the description box and sign up for an account and you will get $10 off your first EC order. I also have a link for $5 off your Simply Gilded order. So hit the link down below in the description box. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.